Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this barbaric way of living doesn't work anymore. Okay. First of all, let me be the first one to tell you that it's fucked up what happened. I'm going to present a news story. The news story is about a man who was executed with nitrogen gas. Okay. Biogenic weapons we're using now to hurt people. The, the, this is barbaric. Hurting people because they hurt us is not a solution. I don't. I don't buy that for five minutes nor five seconds. Nitrogen gas is only a way to prolong life. You're prolonging their death by doing that. Shaking uh, uncontrollable uh, yanks on a table you're strapped to. All that to kill a man? All that to harm, all that to take a life from another man. And he was sentenced to life in prison. Is this really how we handle the justice of people? What are you gonna tell me? A carjacker is gonna get carbon, uh, gonna get that gas injected into him when he doesn't do what he's told in prison? Is that how we're going to solve our issues with the criminals? Instead of trying to help them, we're going to kill them by a biogenic weapon of mass destruction? You might as well just set off a nuclear bomb in the United States and take care of everybody who's a sex offender or something like that. This is lunacy. America's no longer America when they are taking people's innocent life just to make a statement you're not saving a life you're taking a life i don't see how abc news can report on this when nitrogen gas was used at eight o'clock and 15 minutes later he was dead so now you want to put him through a painful death instead of doing what's right people are crazy and the government's stupid. This is not, um, this is like a high, this is like taking a hydrogen bomb and setting it off in America and telling everybody, hey, fight for your life. Sit there and uncontrollably shake, have a seizure while you get nitrogen pours in your face. This is wrong. I'm sorry. This news story should have never been reported because now you've made a martyr out of people who should have just been left to die in prison. If the state of Alabama can do it, the state of California is going to do it, then another state's going to do it. Where is the point where we say enough is enough and start standing up for our rights as people? This is wrong, people. Absolutely wrong. Biogenic weapons are not supposed to be used on other human beings. Okay, there has to be a more suitable way to take care of a person than having them lay on a table and seize for 15 minutes before they die. If you find this news story repulsive, you need to send a message and respond because it is wrong. First ever execution in the U.S. using nitrogen gas in Alabama. Several other states are now set to follow suit. Witnesses tonight on what happened in that room as the convict was put to death. Here again, Steve Osinsami. Alabama, like every other state with a death penalty that uses lethal injections, has had trouble getting the medications to carry out those capital punishments. But tonight, they're pointing to the execution of Kenneth Smith using nitrogen gas as a way forward. As of last night, nitrogen epoxy as a means of execution is no longer an untested method. It is a proven one. Alabama has done it, and now so can you. Smith was executed because he stabbed and killed Elizabeth Sennett, a preacher's wife, in 1988. The jury gave him life in prison, but a judge overruled that sentence and put him on death row. He was scheduled to die more than a year ago, but the execution failed after prison officials struggled to get a needle into any of his veins. This time, they started shortly before 8 p.m. local on Thursday, strapping him to the table, fitting a mask over his face, and pouring nitrogen into the mask. It robbed him of oxygen, and witnesses say he was dead by 8.15. Smith appeared to violently shake, have seizure-like mo um, 
movements and convulse on the gurney for at least two minutes. Prison officials pushed back against any idea that there were any problems. Nothing was out of the ordinary what we were expecting. One of Elizabeth Senate's sons says that justice was served. Nothing happened here today is going to bring uh, mom back, but uh, we're glad this day is over. White House officials are weighing in, calling this execution troubling. Two other states are already turning towards nitrogen gas for their executions, the states of Oklahoma and Mississippi. David, Steve Osinsami on this case again tonight. Thanks, Steve.